that feeling The sun in my face, it's so well needed Life will take care of the rest Biking alone in the sunset Through the canals or the mindset I needed Hi everyone, so I'm back and I'm blonde and I know it's been a while since I've done a video and I'm sorry I've just been so busy and I've had a lot of changes going on um, in my personal life and stuff like that so um, it's just wasn't really able to film at all but I'm here now and I'm back and yeah let me know what you think of the blonde hair um, I was blonde obviously years back and I loved it then but then I decided to go ombre and I loved the ombre but I'm just happy to be blonde again, so let me know what you think. Um, so I'm gonna do a great <laughs> So I'm gonna do a get ready with me today, and it's gonna be on this look, so it doesn't take very long. This is kind of like my everyday look, and I love it. I think it's simple but glamorous, um, and it really isn't difficult at all. So if you want to find out how to create this, keep on watching. Okay, so you might think I'm crazy. I'm going to start off by using three different types of foundations. Well, actually two foundations and one BB cream. So I'm using Too Faced Born This Way, Estee Lauder Double Wear and Stila 10 in 1 Bronzing Beauty Balm. So I'm just going to add these all together on my stipple brush and literally just place them on top of each other. I know it's weird that I use like three different ones but I think sometimes if you want the perfect foundation you have to kind of test around a little bit and that's exactly what I did and these three are my favourites put together. The double wear is really thick um, but not in a horrible way but it gives that really airbrushed look. The Born This Way is a really nice colour, it's also a good matte foundation and the bronzer just gives that kind of extra bronzing <laughs> just for the colour. So these three together for me are my perfect match. So I'm just going to put this all over my face until I get the perfect base. Now I'm putting my Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer under my eyes, just over my forehead slightly, down my nose and on my chin. I find these are the best places to put it as it adds highlight. I tend not to put too much foundation under my eyes as I find it gets stuck into laughter lines quite easily. So you're better off putting like a lighter concealer, um, obviously depending if you have bad bags or anything, but for me this works really well and it doesn't get stuck in any of my laughter lines. And again, just use this stipple brush to blend that all in. And now to set this and bake, I'm going to use the MAC Invisible Powder. This is one of my favourites, I've tried quite a few, I don't know why, but this one just works really well. So I'm going to place a really thick layer, or pretty thick layer, <laughs> under my eyes and then around my laughter lines on my cheeks, around my mouth and just down underneath my cheekbones. So I put it around my mouth um, because I find that it just helps to stop kind of your makeup sticking in any lines. And as we get older we have to think about these kind of things and obviously just laughter lines in general, you don't want your makeup getting stuck in them. So that's why it's great to kind of bake your makeup and add some setting powder. So I'm just blending it in. I'm going to bake my eyes for a little bit longer just to make sure that's in there and it gets the highlight and it does what it's meant to do. So just keep it on there but blend everywhere else in. Now for some colour, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier bronzing powder. This is one of the best ones I've come across because it's not too dark. So I like to put this all over my face. It just gives me a really nice base of um, bronzer. Now to add a bit more definition, I'm going to start contouring. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette and I'm just using these two shades from it. You can use any ones you want, but those are the two that I'm using. Um, and I'm using this brush by NARS which is amazing because 
it's basically just nice and thin and you can get right in your cheekbones or create some cheekbones so just add that under your cheekbones and then under your chin and you will get the perfect contour line and now I'm just going to add some more contour around the top of my forehead this just helps bring your forehead down slightly um, and makes it appear smaller so once I've done my contouring I like to just blend it in a bit more with a fluffy brush now for some nose contouring I'm using this Sigma 3d precision brush and I'm just going to take the middle color from my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm just going to do two lines down the side of my nose on each side and this is just going to make your nose look smaller and then I'm going to do a little line underneath just to add some shadow so you want to blend these in obviously if you contour your nose at all you want to make sure that it's blended in but not too much that you can't see it anymore but just enough so blend that all in just make it look as natural as you can now for some more color I'm using this Laura Mercier baked blush and this has some highlight in it too so I'm just adding this above my cheekbones for that kind of rosy look and now my eyes have baked enough so I'm going to just blend this all in with a fluffy brush um, just making it look nice and blended now on to one of the most important parts the eyebrows so I'm using this hourglass eyebrow pencil and I'm just going to use the brush end first to smooth out my eyebrow hairs I like to kind of go upwards with them I just find it's a lot easier to apply the pencil when you do that and then I'm just going to fill them in along my natural eyebrow line I have got some hair on there so it's kind of easy for me to to go and kind of outline with the pencil And now to finish my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Gel. And I'm just going to brush this upwards um, at the fronts of at the fronts. Yeah, at the fronts of my eyebrows. Um, this is just going to create a more natural look. It'll make your hairs kind of stick up slightly, but it does add a really nice kind of full look to your eyebrows. So I brush those upwards and then I smooth the other sides out. Now taking my naked mini palette, I'm just going to use one brown color just to kind of go in the crease this is what I like to do on a daily basis just to keep it nice and natural looking so just take that brown and add that to the crease Now taking the shade Skimp, I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. Mm -hmm. 
Now onto one of my favorite parts, highlighter. So I'm using the MAC Skin Finish uh, Mineralize Highlighter and I'm just applying this to my nose. So I'm just applying one little bit on the tip and then I leave a gap and then up on the bridge and then in the inner corners of my eyes on my brow bone. So this is what I use with, this is what I do, sorry, with this small brush um, just to get that precision highlight. And then I will use a fan brush to go over my cheekbones um, above my eyebrows and just to blend in my nose and on my cupid's bow above my lip. I really like my highlighter to pop, so I will use um, like two different highlighters, just like one on top of the other. So this is the NYX Strobe of Genius palette, and all the other colors I do not use. I just use this one shade, um, which is kind of the light, silvery kind of pearly shade, it's beautiful. So I just kind of add that on top of my other highlight just to really make it glow. And unfortunately, my skin has broken out a little bit, especially on my cheek right here. So my little trick is to add a little beauty spot on top of your spots. Um, so obviously you don't want to go adding beauty spots all over your spots, just kind of on the odd one. And it will kind of help to mask the rest of them, especially if you're prone to just getting like a few spots here and there. So I like to do that when I've got a bit of a breakout. And actually, to be honest, I like to do it anyway now. I'm kind of addicted to the beauty spot. So now I've gone on to eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. So I'm using the Rimmel Glam Eyes liquid eyeliner and this is my favorite one. So I just draw a line on each side um, at the outer corner and then I meet it from the middle of my eye to the outer corner. And this is just the easiest way of getting that nice cat eye look. Once you've done your liquid eyeliner, you want to quickly curl your lashes and then you want to add a quick coat of mascara. I'm going to be using false eyelashes as usual. So just a quick coat of mascara on your upper lashes. Now before I go on to lashes, I'm going to do my lips. So I'm just going to draw my lips on. Um, I like to overdraw my lips slightly just to create that fuller look. So I'm going to do that first. Um, just make sure you don't go crazy when you're overdrawing your lips because it can end up looking kind of ridiculous. Um, but just kind of go slightly over your lip line just to get that really nice full plumped lip look. And I'm going for a matte look today, so I'm taking Kylie Cosmetics in Dulce K. And then I'm also using Jeffree Star Cosmetics in I'm Nude. So I'm going to mix these together because I feel like the Dulce K for me is a little bit too dark. Um, so if I mix the nude and then that one together, it just creates a really gorgeous dark nude. Now on to lashes, and I'm using the Foxy Locks lashes, and this is in Style Pretty. So I'm just going to cut these to size, add the glue, and then I'm just gonna stick these on.
I like to add a bit more eyeliner on top of the glue just to hide any kind of bits that may still be on there or might have kind of dried a bit lighter. So it just kind of masks that and gives that really kind of flawless look. And to blend your natural lashes and the false eyelashes together, I'm just going to curl my lashes um, just a little bit, not for too long, just to get that nice natural look. Now I'm gonna apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. I like to really kind of go at this and make my bottom eyelashes really accentuated. So I like to put quite a bit on, not to get spider's legs <laughs> eyelashes like some people do, but just enough to create that kind of exaggerated look. So this is the finished makeup look. So this is my everyday look and I just find it really simple and glamorous. I love that kind of bronzy, nude, just kind of simple yet glam look. So now we've done the face, we need to do the hair and yeah, my hair definitely needs to be done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my extensions um, because I definitely need them. And so I'm gonna brush it out, add my extensions, and then I'm just gonna curl it real quick. And this is what I do on a daily basis. So I'm adding my Fox Locks extensions, and these are the 22 inch superior. I've actually cut about an inch off these. And then I'm adding my Fox Locks Argan Oil. This is just to get a little bit more moisture in my hair and just make it really soft and silky. And then I'm just gonna take my curling wand and quickly go over my hair. It really doesn't take very long, so that's why I love doing this on a daily basis because you get that just that gorgeous look without having to do too much, I guess. So I'm just curling the ends or the mid sections to the ends. So just carry on repeating this throughout your whole hair. And once you've done curling, you want to brush it out to get that more natural look. So I'm just gonna brush through my hair and my extensions. And then I'm also gonna do a little bit of back combing, um, just a small amount, just to kind of add a bit of volume. My hair kind of lacks volume on the top, unfortunately. I wish I had super thick hair, but I don't. So I need to kind of do what I can. So obviously I've got my extensions, but for the top, I would just back comb them slightly. And I'm using the Foxodox detangler brush, but it actually works really well as a tangler. <laughs> so it works really well as a backcomber as well, which is perfect. So it detangles and it can also backcomb. And once you're done, smooth it out and just make it look pretty, get all the hairs in place and then you are finished.
So this is the final look and I love this makeup tutorial and hair tutorial. This is my everyday kind of go-to look. Uh, I just think it's nice and glam but also simple. So I hope you enjoyed it and this is my first kind of get ready with me makeup hair mixed in tutorial. So if you enjoyed it be sure to let me know and also let me know what other videos you want to see um, because I'm planning on doing a lot more videos now so I need some inspiration from you guys. Um, and yeah, so let me know what you think below and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.